Hi Aquarius, this is going to be a reading for mid-April 2019. Check your moon, Venus and rising if the messages don't resonate with you or if you'd like more insights. And I'm giving away the Romance Angels this month, so leave a comment to let me know if you want to be a part of the giveaway. By doing so, you've entered messages for Aquarius. Queen of Cups, emotions, okay? You're in your feelings this, this mid-month. Or just feeling, you know, emotionally drawn to someone. Could be falling in, falling in love or in love. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for some. Ooh, feeling like you have met your perfect match. However, with the Five of Swords... There is this competition or this battle, like, <clears throat> okay, so maybe you feel like someone overpowered you or won in a situation, maybe you want injustice. We have the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but also... The type who runs around, you know, the type who doesn't really show signs of wanting to settle down, but very passionate. So this is how you've seen them. So maybe yeah, you're in your feelings about the wrong person, some of you. But maybe you want to take back your power and have, you know, justice. Okay, maybe you want to, it could even be to get... Um, even with a player, or just to, you know, get yourself back on track after dealing with a type, some type of player, or just a type of guy who doesn't, or girl, who doesn't really show signs of wanting a relationship, or doesn't stay one place. Let's see, Aquarius, we have, some of you are dealing with an Aquarius as well, fellow Aquarius, or Pisces, but they're seeing you as the moon. So you could be mysterious, like not really showing your emotion, not really showing yourself that much to this person. They're feeling the hanged man. So their feelings could have changed slightly. They, they are wanting that main person. And they're wanting, they're wanting something to grow. It could be the relationship. But as for their feelings, they're kind of in limbo. You know, maybe unsure of how they feel, especially since they're seeing you as the moon. So maybe it's because of you being mysterious where they don't know how to feel. Or them just not being sure of how you feel. Between you, we have love. We have the Ace of Cups. So there's love between you two. There's just this unsurety, <laughs> like both of you are unsure. And what's blocking you is Nine of Cups. So it could be that um, there's disappointment at times. And the fact that this person, that both of you are really into each other, but things, there could be circumstances that, that cause issues here. Like the fact that this person isn't really trying to settle down right away or they just won't stay one place or they're just kind of aggressive here we have the ten of swords so there could be an ending that leads to a new beginning it could be new love okay it could be burying something very done with done for over and done with and moving on to a new start because the ten of swords is about an ending but a new beginning an amazing new beginning like a blessing in the sky. Let's see, the Five of Swords.
no, you, yeah, you want him to hold back. You're wanting to hold back because you're wanting, you know, stability, Ten of Cups. You want that emotional fulfillment. Some of you are wanting to settle down and, you know, you're not dealing with someone who plays games, so you're holding back. So that could be you, the person at the front who is taking control, who has won the situation. Justice. Emotional imbalance, so yeah, feeling like the stability is no longer there, your emotions could be all over the place at times because of this, um, the Queen of Cups is here twice, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, some of you there could be another female, could be a third party, or that this person has a few others and they just don't make you feel stable in the relationship or didn't make you feel stable. The Knight of Wands. Hmm. Virgo energy here. Yeah, they, they definitely don't want to stay in one place. And it has to do with stress. They run around to take their mind off of stress. Um, they may have kind of pulled away. But they may be in a deep place right now and trying to find happiness in the wrong places. Being restless, probably not accepting that they are stressed or that they are going through something. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. This person could be spreading their attention, but they have one person who they really like who they really want to be with. It could be you. We have the emperor in reverse. So they feel, they feel a little bit out of control. It could have to do with this stress of them being in the hermit mode at times. Feeling like they lose control of their, their lives at, at, at times. They're trying to find that balance. The Hanged Man. Five of Swords again. They could be very busy. They could be working a lot, but And they could feel like you have taken back the power of the situation. They could feel that way. It could be why they're unsure of their feelings. It's like you being mysterious has made them see that you've taken back your power. And so they're confused about how they feel. The moon. Nine of Cups again. Injustice. So they may feel like it's unfair that you've pulled away or that you've been mysterious. They, they see you as their wish fulfillment, but you've, you've become mysterious or you're hiding your feelings, you know. They feel like it's unfair and that it's unbalanced. Ace of Cups. Nine of Cups. The love is, is experiencing some instability. Like the love, the love, the connection is kind of being rocked at the moment by circumstances, I feel. And the sun in reverse. 
is being affected by something here. It could be third party situations, or it could be the fact that this person is busy and you are coming off as mysterious so you don't know how to feel. And also the fact that they're showing up as the Knight, the, the knight of Wands, which is someone who just can't stay put. Especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. So, Ten of Swords. And here's the moon again. Definitely a blessing in disguise. <laughs> the Knight of Wands in reverse. Feeling like you're waiting in vain here for this person to settle down or to, you know, bring fairness to the table. And so it's, it's like you end up cutting it off with the nine of, the, the seven of wands, sorry. You end up just defending yourself but with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, you may not want to be single or you may go straight into another relationship or dating situation. Okay, because there is this ending to this new beginning. So it could be that you end up not being single right away. You could end up going towards someone different. Or it could be that you end up staying with this person or staying open to them, but taking a break. Just for Aquarius. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So if you are about to be newly single, it's like there's something coming to you that is worth it. Worth the wait. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, it could be that you're trying to manifest a new love, or this person, whichever it is, you have to use your visualization and know what you want. Express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So some of you will be out there flirting, having fun, calling in your soulmate. If you feel like this isn't your soulmate, then you'll be, your next stop is because you'll be manifesting that person. Ace of Earth, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Okay. Ace of Water, we have Ace of Pentacles, Ace of, Ace of Cups again. So that's definitely a new start. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship. Spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. Seven of Wands, again, defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. You are standing your ground, I mean, with the Five of Swords here twice. You've stood your ground, they see that you've stood your ground, and that's it. Five of, five of water, five of cups. Things not turning out the way you'd hoped, not seeing the positive in the situation, crying over spilled milk. This could be, if some of you are becoming newly single, some of you may see it as a bad thing, but it actually is a blessing in, in disguise. Okay, so try to see the positive in the situation. Four of Earth. Being too 
frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. Four of Earth is the Four of Pentacles, so you're protecting your, your heart, you're holding back. Eight of Fire, events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. So, like I said, some of you may not be single for long, like you may have someone new rush in. Eight of Water, a, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful. Spiritual and emotional growth. So, some of you may feel, you know, like this is not for you. And that's when you could attract your actual soulmate. Listen to your intuition. The situation will improve. Unlikely. Remain positive and in the near future. You have someone coming to you. For some of you, it could be unlikely that it's this person. Because this is someone showing up as someone who doesn't want to settle down or doesn't want to stay one place. And I feel like a lot of you have an actual real soulmate come into you. Someone who is worth your time and energy and will treat you the way you should be treated. So you have to think positive if you have broken up with, the, with this person. Or if you are separated from them or blocked or you've blocked them because you have these good things coming to you. You have to listen to your intuition. You have to know it's gonna improve. You have to let go of the idea of this person if you're dealing with someone who just won't settle down because you will feel like you're waiting in vain for that to happen. And just remain positive that in the near future, you have someone coming to you like someone who is for you. And you have to play a part in this as well. You have to visualize and write affirmations and, you know, make sure that you know exactly the person you want, how you want them to be and everything. So you make the right, you make the right order. <laughs> you, you, you attract the right person. Okay. But I do feel like it will happen quickly for some of you. This new um, love. And I feel like there could be secrets with this person. With the moon here twice. There could be hidden secrets. Like things that you don't know. With this current person. And I wouldn't be surprised because. Knight of Wands. Not the most mature person. Not the most honest. And highly sexual and not thinking about settling down. So not surprised if there's lies going on or things behind your back. Is this what you want? Because you do have someone, you could have someone, you know, who's meant for you coming towards you. You just have to like accept that person, accept the new life that you'll have, the change that you'll have. If you have someone who, who is new and actually willing to settle down and give you everything that you want okay so yeah don't don't hold on to the past especially if it's a knight of wands um aquarius this is your reading for mid-april 2019 check your moon venus and rising if the messages didn't resonate or if you'd like more insights and Leave a comment if you want to be a part of the giveaway for the Romance Angels Oracle Cards. By doing so, you've entered. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.